Alright, uh, this is going to be a video showing you how to uh, name simple ionic compounds. Uh, this is the first video and this may be the one that takes the longest, longest one to explain, but anyway, let me explain uh, to you what, uh, what I'm calling simple ionic compounds. Now, uh, tomorrow, or you know, when we meet in class, I'm going to give you a printout of, of a periodic table. Now, uh, basically, an ionic compound is a compound that uh, contains ions. That's what an ionic compound is. Now, the ones that we're going to be naming in this video, the first video here, simple ionic uh, compounds are going to be the ones where we take the first two columns, you know, excluding the hydrogen, taking the first two columns here and uh, we're going to name compounds with them and usually a lot of, a lot of uh, professors and teachers refer to this as the simple salt compounds anyway they're ionic compounds basically we take one of these guys you know lithium, beryllium, sodium, magnesium, calcium, uh, potassium, uh, strontium, rubidium, cesium, barium, francium, and uh, radium and put it with one of these uh, nonmetals or one of these metalloids uh, and we make an ionic compound. Usually it's just the non-metals, but I've seen sometimes that they've used those. <laughs> kind of weird, but anyway, but we're going to name some simple ones. So let's start with the most obvious one. We're going to start with uh, sodium, which is Na. Okay, so we're going to start with sodium and we're going to pick a non-metal and the nominal that we're going to pick is obviously going to be something easy. We're going to pick this chlorine. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, see how we can take these two and put them together and make a compound. Okay, then I'll show you how you name them. Okay, well first of all, uh, what you need to know is that sodium as an ion uh, has a plus one charge. Anything in this column would be plus one. Anything in this column would be plus two. Uh, for simple reasons, everything in this column would be plus three, unless there's any exceptions, and I have those labeled for you on the back of your uh, sheet, if you need to look for them. Uh, you have, uh, technically, uh, I'll call it plus or minus four, then negative three, negative two, negative one, and zero. These are the charges on the periodic table. That's kind of BS, but it fits the pattern, so we'll use it. Okay. Now, if you look at sodium, sodium is in the first column. So to write sodium ion, you write down Na plus one. Okay. Chlorine okay, is in column 17, which is right here. Okay and it's a negative one charge so you write down Cl which is its symbol negative one now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, basically we're going to cross these numbers down so basically what you're doing is once you put the plus and the minus sign there you're mainly just doing that to figure out which one's going to be written first your metal is always going to be written first because it's got the positive charge. The chlorine is going to be written second because it's got the negative charge. After that, really the plus and minus is not needed to write the formula. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just ignore the plus and the one. The plus and the minus on the ones. Okay, so we're just left with uh, the one and the one. And basically we just bring them down as little bitty numbers behind the CL and bring it down behind the Na and you end up getting uh, Na1Cl1. Now that looks kind of silly writing it like that. Now it's actually just NaCl and if uh, if the numbers match you don't ever have to write them. That's kind of nice. So like if these were twos, positive two, negative two, if you mark off the plus and minus sign, you, you wouldn't write them because they're identical. If it was four and four negative four and positive four, you wouldn't write the numbers because they cancel out and you're just left with Na and Cl. Now let's show you how to name this. Okay. Now what's nice about these is 
you just name the first one. You just name the metal. Okay, so it's just sodium. <laughs> just like, you know, what we did in the beginning. It's just sodium. Wow. There's no mono, there's no dino tries. Prefixes are not used. Ever. So, <laughs> they're never used. Okay, now, the uh, suffixes, I don't know if it's two F's or just one F, y'all know me. But the suffixes are used, so basically the IDEs are used. Now, from all of our experiences with chlorine, we know that chlorine up here is going to become chloride, C-H-L-O-R-I-D-E. So basically, the name of this guy is sodium chloride, and its formula is just NaCl. Well, I hope this video was helpful, and I'll do another one in the second video. Alrighty, bye-bye.